this. The best of our um, collaboration and cooperation, as well as coordination, is yet to come. Again, I would like to give emphasis in expressing my profound gratitude to the City Council. Napakalaki po ang kanilang ito patulong sa amin. I cannot ask for them. And I would like to give a special mention to the leadership of our Vice Mayor, Tino Olohan. Thank you very much. Today marks the first milestone, the first signpost. I can never compare my work to that of my predecessors, but I can compare my work with my previous work in the Philippine National Police, as well as my position in the corporate sector. That being said, the next 100 days should be an improvement over the first 100 days, and on and on until the end of my term. For me, the most important of changes is that which cannot be qualified or quantified. And that is the sense of hope, the belief that justice will be served. That we can do and make the possible possible. And I would like again to quote the words of FDR, of President Roosevelt, when he said, Don't tell me it cannot be done. The sense of community and cooperation, not just with my team here in City Hall, but with the people of Bali who have come together to ensure that our 15 point agenda becomes a reality. In terms of speeding up government action, the highlight among the accomplishments is the Belize Servicio Bali. I would like to commend the following officers, CBAO, the Bureau of Fire, Civil Engineer or City Engineer's Office, SECMO, Civil Registry Office, the Licensing and the City Planning and the Development Office for the reforms we created. We have practically streamlined everything in terms of providing permits, business permit, building permits, etc., etc. Service can now be delivered in a matter of hours and minutes depending on the complexity of our request. We also have on the screen highlights our accomplishments. Yung uh, business permit, once you have completed all the requirements, it will just take you probably about 15 minutes or probably 10 minutes. Matagal na po yung isang oras. Hindi po lalapas ng isang oras because the system will immediately approved once na lumampas po ng isang oras. The reason why we have a one-hour uh, period is for the other agencies to determine kung yung tinisend po na document ng applicant are genuine o hindi po siya wala pong problema. Because there are instances wherein some applicants submit fraud documents, fraudulent documents. Yung ating uh, building permits for simple takes only about 5 days or medium 15 days na lang and for complex 30 days. Once you have made payment, unlike in the past, kapag nagbigay ng payment, matagal pa bago mo pa makuha yung itong permit. This time, after giving payment, it will just take you 2 days and you receive your building permit. Aside from the speeding up of government action, we're now working on our uh, enterprise resource planning. In short, all our uh, all our standalone systems will now be integrated. A future direction po niyan is our constituents do not have to go to City Hall to file their application. All they have to do is they can find it in their own residences if they are connected to the internet. Pero meron ang nagsasabi naman sa atin, paano sir kami na senior citizen? Hindi naman po namin alam gumamit ng computer. 
wala namang kami computer sa bahay. Doon po sa mga barangay halls, we will put up workstation. And there will be volunteers to assist our senior citizen. Once they apply, all they have to do is remit payment to sa PAMCO. And then they wait. Those documents will be delivered to them, to their residences, or to na lang sa barangay ko. Tatanggapin na lang nila. Before we get into the enterprise resource planning, we're in, we will integrate all the system. We need to first establish our integrated management, formation management system. It's now also in the pipeline. And we will fast track it, especially starting next year. We will fast track everything. As for revitalizing of environment, this is rather broad. We're talking about the sewerage issue. We're talking about tree planting or the greening movement. We're talking about protecting our watershed. We're talking about uh, building more water harvesting stations or facilities, etc., etc. And at the same time, at the same time, cleaning our rivers. We have four major rivers. The latest reading, dati rati po sinasabi namin, if Pasay, if Pasig River rather, has a coliform level of 450 million per 100 mm, the latest on Bowhead River, dati po sinabi namin na 465 now it already went up to 380 billion of coliform level jams sa buwit review. Yung ating Baliri uh, River that goes all the way to the strawberry farm is still maintaining, the reading is still maintained at 1.6 trillion. So it's a huge problem, but we're doing something about it. The highlight would be the clearing of waterways. We have now given a first notice to many residents in the different barangays. We will recover the three meter easement, either the two meter easement or the three meter easement, depending on the situation. The strategic transport to upgrade our sewage treatment plant. We only have one treatment plant in the entire, the city, the entire city of Baguio, which has a capacity of 8,600. Our daily discharge for the entire city is around 44,000 cubic meters, and we only have 8,600 STP capacity. So, napakalaki po nung hahabulin natin. And we are now talking to ADB for funding and at the same time for a free feasibility study which will amount to around 12 million pesos. We will be meeting again with them on the 29th and we're talking directly, not to anybody in ADP but directly to Mr. Paul Dominguez who is the executive director and he already gave instruction to the foreign the uh, sa, yung mga foreigners na directors to make sure that they will all provide support to the city of Baguio when it comes to environmental revitalization. Uh, revitalization. The possibility of handling the solid waste problem through waste to energy facility. Ito na po yung patatayuan po natin. We already have an 8 hectare property in the 8 use of agreement with the Department of Agriculture. The good news is from 8 hectares, nakakuha pa ulit tayo. During the recent visit of the Secretary Dar, nakakuha na naman tayo additional na 2 hectares. So we already have 10 hectares. And 4 hectares, ito, ito yung magiging itsura ng Waste to Energy Plan. This will be a limited grant from the Japanese government it will be a tripartite agreement between the city of the Baguio local government unit, uh, Toyo, and or uh, Japanese government through Toyo and PNOC. What we intend to do is uh, we intend to have a groundbreaking first quarter next year. So we continue to work closely with 
the multinational oil company. We will need around three hectares for this to the rent. The moratorium on decoding and construction of high-rise buildings is now in the office of the president. It's now being worked, being worked out by the Department of the Interior Local Government that was applied by the Secretary and last week and the ENR. That includes a fund component of about 500 million. The construction of rainwater harvesting facility is also in the pipeline. We just submitted. Two weeks ago, I met with Secretary Avisado in Malacanian. Ang sabi niya sa akin, Benji, hindi po masaya yung 350 million na request mo for sewerage treatment. For sewerage treatment. For sewerage system. Pero mag-submit ka ng ibang items na tatama doon sa local government support fund. And so what we did was submit to him a 400 million plus request for four water harvesting stations or facility para hindi na tayo mabusa ng tubig dito. And at the same time, the good news is one very prominent uh, one very prominent company that is involved in desalination and clarif clarifying and clar uh, water potable uh, clarifier systems has offered a PPP. They will be arriving today and they will be meeting with the Bobby Water District Board, members of the board this afternoon. In terms of innovating peace and order, strategic plans are being set out into motion relative to the creation of a communication command center that will integrate our responses when it comes to security, traffic, and disaster response. The numbers relative to these and order statistics are on the screen. This will be okay. The good news now is we just we just got the 200 million from the office of the president. The other week, last Friday, the other Friday. And again, I'm going to yellow paper. Finally, we have our command center module. And this will now be a safer city technology. Ibig sabihin, aside from yung command center natin, which will be the first of its kind in the country, meron pa tayong ilalagay na artificial intelligence na camera all over the city. And this will be all be connected through fiber optics. So it will be the first of its kind. So lagi-lagi na po nandito ang Huawei at Cisco. Sila po ang naglalaban ng dalawa. Together with another company, a Filipino company. Sila ang tatlo ang maglalaban for this 200 million. And we will fast track this. What is the essence of this uh, of this uh, safer cities technology. Lahat na po ng ating uh, it has a very very distinct feature. Ito yung facial recognition. In short, kung ang isang tao na tingin natin is a suspect, everywhere he goes in the city, kaya na natin i-monitor. And we can generate that report in a matter of seconds. If we're looking for a car, if we're looking for a plate number, immediately we can generate wherever that car is located in the city. If we want to determine if Mayor Tino talked with or met with uh, Philip, uh, Engineer Philip, we can generate the information na yan in a matter of seconds. How many times did Mayor Tino go to Marius? We can generate that report. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang ibig sabihin niyan, may maski saan mo kayo pwede puntahan, ay pumunta, pwede mo natin i-generate yung report na. 
And at the same time, if we're looking for suspects in a matter of seconds, if they are in the city and they're captured by those cameras or by the system, we can generate those reports in a matter of seconds. If there are abnormal behaviors among our citizens or our residents, like for example, they are keep on looking at the camera, immediately the system captures this and they can identify this. Tayong lahat dito sa kwarto, if you have an AI camera, AI-based camera inside this hall, probably in a matter of one minute, your pictures are all captured. And you can be all be identified when we have all your database, your pictures in our database, your biodata in our database. So ganyan po ka powerful yan. It will be the first in the country. <clears throat> On aggressive traffic management, how you will have an integrated transport terminal system as well as low carbon rural transport system. Just to inform you, we are the first, we are the first city, even first uh, local government unit that have submitted our expression of interest for the low carbon urban transport system to the DOTR. Kaya tayo po ngayon ang tinututuhan. Last week, the team of DOTR was here to brief our council and at the same time, I was meeting with under Secretary, uh, under Secretary Mark Delion in Manila, together with Chairman Degra of uh, LTFRB, and they are providing me a comprehensive briefing on the low carbon urban transport system, which includes cable system, monorails, jeepney modernization, itong uh, sidewalk constructions for to make our city walkable, etc., etc. Napakarami hong system na ilalagay po sa atin. And priority po tayo ngayon. At the same time, MMDA just finished its study dito sa Siyudad ng Baguio and they will be submitting to us a book report in three months. But for the meantime, they have already, I met with them last week, they are providing us some of the findings wherein we will be able to apply ito yung tinatawag natin low light foods or quick wind to be able to improve our traffic condition in the city. If you notice, if you notice, meron na po tayong minobodify na mga, mga uh, geometric designs ng ating mga island. Yung, uh, you have probably seen a big, uh, big uh, improvement along along Governor Park Road. And there will be more improvement in three weeks because we finally convinced Victory Liner to transfer out of Government Park Road. Aalis na po sila doon. So nakita nyo rin, pati yung mga tindahan doon, matas na, we are recovering our sidewalks. And we will continue to recover our sidewalks. At the same time, we are 25 million will be a 25 million sidewalk project will be implemented this year, starting probably ongoing name bidding, and then next year we have 20 million plus another 49 million, and then an additional 50 million from Secretary Mark William. I spoke to him personally and said, "Yeah, okay, then 50 million additional." So we have another 190 million for our sidewalk. This will be better sidewalks quality sidewalks and well-constructed sidewalks. Sabi nga namin ni uh, Engineer Bonnie at ni Engineer Philip, this time, every project, we will make sure that we will inspect it. We will not sign it. Hindi kami pipirma. Maski na meron 2 inches by 2 inches dyan na mali, hindi namin pabayaran. In the same manner na ganun din po, yung nangyayari dyan sa convention center, we will not affix our signature dahil yan convention center na yan e mali po ang pagkakagawa niya. Maraguna, yung design na napagkasunduan ng council dito during the time 
led by uh, Councilor Mylen Yaranon. Hindi po nasunod yun. Kaya ako talaga palpak po yung pagkakagawa niya. Yung convention center niya. By the way, our traffic management is being led by a volunteer. By a volunteer from the private sector. Can I request a tenant to please stand up to be recognized? Is silent silently. May nakita nyo siguro Ang traffic natin dito is during rush hours. Why rush hours? Are you aware? I keep on saying that we have about 41,000 vehicles in the city of Baguio. Hindi pala yan. Mali pala ako ko. The latest data from LTO is we have 64,000 vehicles in 2018 registered in the city of Baguio. The good news is we have already allotted. Ang lugar ng mga nakikita namin, mga choke points dito, are Marcos Highway, uh, La Trinidad, uh, sorry, La Trinidad, yung papunta sa La Trinidad, down to uh, yung Trancoville area na yung Camdas, at dito sa, dito sa Religion Road, we have allotted 1 million. Kasama natin si, when we, when we, uh, when we, uh, what's this, uh, planned it out, we were with, Congressman Go, Marco. So we have allotted 100 million for the widening next year. Sigurado na For Marcos Highway from Station 5 to Buhay Dilig. Another 1 million from Camp Allen to, uh, to uh, what's this, Kuyisan. And then we will we will rectify yung design ng ramp dun sa Camdas. Ayusin uh, po natin yun. So that yung ramp na yun will be two-way. We are now working on the design. And also we will be, we're hoping that next year we will be able to put up parking buildings. We're looking at, immediately, we're looking at around 12 parking buildings all over the city. But hopefully by next, next year we will be able to put up around four parking buildings. Parking buildings that can accommodate from a, from a uh, volume of about 400 vehicles to 700 vehicles. Para po ma-decontest natin ang content itong CBD area. As for our responsive education program, we are supporting the alternative learning system. We have also allowed more scholarship to the financially challenged and have facilitated donation of laptops for the needs of our students. We are campaigning for the inclusion of good manners and right conduct and knowledge of Cordillera culture and tradition in school curriculum. And at the same time, we are now working on the new concept of employability. Employability. Our, our graduates might have the skills, but at the end of the day, they don't have the talent for employability. Napapansin nyo, pag nag, nag, uh, during interviews, maski na napakagaling mo ng bata na ito, napakaganda na scholastic record, it cannot, he, she or he cannot articulate himself or herself. Usually, ang nangyayari po doon sa interviewer, ang napipili po niya, yung magaling mag-articulate yung magaling uh, mag-express ng sarili niyang opinion. And thus, should be our direction now in education. Make sure that our graduates or incoming graduates are employable. So please take note of this word, employability. And we are now getting some consultants to work closely with the Department of Education to give emphasis on this aspect of employability. In terms of empowering the youth, we are setting up a youth convergence center. Ito po yung design ng convergence center at nag na po. We have already allotted 400 million for this, but for next year, 245, 245 million. And thanks again. Thanks again to the City Council for, you know, for uh, approving our budget.
245. So, consider only that's your convergence of the NBA. Kasama na rin yung binigay ni, ni uh, Congressman Mark po na 70 million doon sa 130 na si Cal, si Dian. But it will not be, we will not, we will not rehabilitate yung, uh, yung idea, no. Hindi natin na rehabilitate yung for this convergence center. We will put up our own convergence center. And uh, we are now partnering with the organizers of some personalities of Gawad Kalinga for the leadership training of our Gawad Kalinga. And at the same time, we are now working with Gawad Kalinga for more socialized housing dito. Three undersecretaries, former undersecretaries, are closely working with us. And we will again engage them in the next few weeks to be able to have all these, all these plans concretized. As to expanding health and social services, we are about to implement our programs to acquire a mobile clinic. Ito yung mobile clinic na kailangan po natin dito. We also have a stricter anti-smoking campaign. Among all the cities in the entire country, tayo na po ang pinaka-strict to dyan sa anti-smoking. Thank you to Councilor uh, Joel Alaksa and his team, our members of the Department of Health, by Dr. Ronald But despite that, we continue to receive donations from Japan Tobacco and from Philip Morris. <laughs> for some reason. For some reason. Tinutulungan na rin po natin ang Baguio General Hospital. We are now working closely with Dr. Munez to be able to get more funding. We are now, kahapon lang, I met with uh, people from DPM and we are uh, pursuing a 250 million project for our uh, Baguio General Hospital. We are also receiving a lot of medical assistance from the different uh, senators. Meron na nagbigay na si uh, Senator Bato, 1 million, oh, hindi pala. Kay Senator Bato is unlimited. Kay Senator, kay Senator uh, Grace po, 1 million. And we continue to work it out with the other uh, senators para makakuha pa rin tayo. And at the same time, yung binibigay po natin na uh, support ng city at uh, mga councilors, Pinaghati-hatihan na ako namin. Okay, yung sa akin, pinababa ako na rin para tumaas po yung sa mga counselor. In terms of responsible tourism, we're creating master plans for activities and events and programs and projects to celebrate the unique qualities of Baguio, to promote our cultural heritage, such as the Echo Park, the Mice View Park, the Vernon Park, and Barangay Park. We are now thinking strategic. We're making sure that yung barang itong Bernal Park, meron siyang master plan. Halos tapos na po yung master plan ng buong Bernal Park. And thank you again to Mylen, uh, Councilor Mylen, together with his team of young architects. Tumawa na rin po sila ng magagaling architects from Metro Manila to help them come up with this master plan. Again, another master plan for Bayan Park. It is around 192 million, and I just submitted our request to Senator Lakson. This is 192 million for Bayan Park. Already. Again, another. Lahat na po ng mga potential parks natin sa Baguio, ginagawa na rin po natin ng master development plan para iisa na lang including pati na rin yung ating mga satellite market. Isa na lang po yan, the master plan. Our sewerage system, our sewerage system, isang master plan na rin po yan. Yung uh, water harvesting facilities natin, isang master plan na rin yan. So, ganun po yung ginagawa namin. Para hindi po pa, hindi po, uh, piece meal. 
according to uh, Councilor uh, uh, Popo. In terms of unenlightened culture, arts, crafts, and heritage, we have created the UNESCO Creative Cities Committee. And we are now working closely with the private sector. This is a private sector driven. Please take note, this should be private sector driven. Why? If there's anybody who understands what creativity is all about, these are the artists themselves. So let's give it to them. What is important to them is we give them the funding. We give them the funding. For today's, for this year's uh, activities, yung iba we gave them around 2 million. And then there are additional uh, support, fund support, aside from the 2 million. And kayo na rin po tayo, nagbigay na rin po tayo ng opisina, opisina sa kanila, yung sa auto. They have a very nice office there for the Creative Council. And at the same time, we already have a creative desk led by Carlo uh, Altamonte. Sa wakas, ano tayo? Uh, they have now an office here in City Hall. And at the same time, we have two international artists. We have Kita uh, Tahimik and Manu uh, Berka. Unfortunately, they do not talk to each other. But hopefully, you know, we will be able to resolve their differences. We will also work for the restoration of our historical site or heritage site. Gawagawa na po kami ng standard ng mga markers para dyan. And at the same time, we will conduct an extensive program to clean yung mga lugar po natin na may mga heritage or historical markers. Kasi kaawa-awa po, lalo-lalo na po yung mga World War II na mark markers. Misal, natatapunan ng mga kapaspasurahan. We are closely working on a program so that we will allot a supplemental budget ako because that was not included. We have to allot as soon as I decide a supplemental budget. The good news is our financial status is very transparent. From a 2.2 billion, 2.3 uh, or 2.4 billion uh, budget for next year, our money is around uh, treasury 